okay guys welcome back to my channel if you are old there thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a notepad jotter using adobe photoshop without any further ado let's get started now go to new file here then you click on it then go to print already i have a for the per size here then this is where you can get it under print here then over here you will see a4 i mean a4 paper size so the location may be different in your own so this is where my own is then i'm going to change it to inches and i will select landscape over here leave your resolution at 300 for printing then change it to cmyk color mode then as this is for social media then i'm going to leave it at rgb color then you click on create so this is what we have here now now go to view we are going to apply a guideline then select new guideline and vertical over here we are going to input 50 percent so that it will be at the center now then we are also going to bring our guideline at the top here side here then over here the bottom here now so we are going back to view select new guideline and at the vertical here we are going to make it another 47 percent something like this then and the other one go back to view then new guideline and we are going to enter 53 percent then at the top go back to your new guideline now we are going to select then before we go to the top let's finish by the side here then enter 3 percent three percent then the last side we are going to make it 97 percent and the top so we are going to change the top to horizontal and here three percent and the bottom then we are going to make it 97 percent so this is what you have now then go to view uh, view and lock the guideline so that you will not mistakenly move it around when you are working so having created the guideline and the background so we are going to select our rent angle and draw a rent angle over here then don't mind the color so having done this one so the next we are going to do then we are going to import the image we are going to use in this design so then this image i'm not going to include this image in the description so you can get any other image because this is a private image all right so having done this slide this one now then i'm going to scale the image then something like this should be like this okay for me so having done it this way i'm going to drag it up a little or something like this and drag it scale it out something like this now in order to smooth the image you can select this image rasterize it now first i'm going to to duplicate the image so select your quick selection tool all right so having selected the subject now so what i'm going to do now then is to duplicate 
the image so then hold your control key and press j that is control plus j to duplicate it so something like that now the bottom one i'm going to blur it then go to your filter then go sham blur then you blur it i think this is too much think 8.6 is okay then i'm going to leave it this way all right now select your rent angle then and from here down here then you drag it and now then we are going to convert it to smart object then apply your layer mask select your gradient tool then we are going to change the color so now apply black color over here so this should be at the top then select the layer mask so now that we are going to change it to black and white over here so that we can blend it something like this then this image i'm going to scale this image i'm going to scale it so now the image is more bold than before then right click and create a clipping mask so that it will enter the rent angle then having done this one so the next we are going to do then is to go back to our resource file and import this background here reduce the size something like this then increase the size a little now we are going to change the bloody mode to hard lights now i'm going to reduce the opacity to 44 44 is too light then i'm going to reduce it 30 percent should be okay now then apply your layer mask select your gradient to and blend the top here then you will have something like this okay it's okay then i'm going to blur this image a little then go to your filter select blur gaussian blur then you blur it a little think this number is okay 10 percent then right click to create a clipping mask so that it will enter the rent angle so having done this one now so the next we are going to create another rent angle like this bring this down this way then this rent angle over here i'm going to bring it down then select this image i'm going to blot it down all right so it's okay like that then this one i'm going to apply white background color and duplicate it Control plus j or you drag it over here to duplicate and now then raise it this way 
and use your arrow key then to drag it up a little this way now we are going to change the color of this one so then go back to your test document and i'm going to copy this color over here now double click here ctrl plus v to paste so that is a color now i'm going to test type my test now i'm going to copy the test from here i like it ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste and change the font color to white and the font we are going to use here is Montserrat. Then apply the bold one over here. Then increase the font size and drag it over here hold your shift key while you select and drag this one down or you can use your mouse by holding your shift key while you drag it then i'll leave it at this position then I'm going to duplicate this image and uh, this test ctrl plus j to duplicate now having duplicated then bring it down this way then select your test tool using t on the keyboard to select test tool ctrl plus a to alight then i'm going to type this Then use your arrow key then to move it or as well use your mouse then to move it and I'm going to zoom this out so that I'll be able to see it more clear. So then I'm going to reduce the size something like this then we have to change the font color then select this color over here now we are going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate and bring it down this way then select your test tool and copy this one ctrl plus c to copy now highlight this one ctrl plus v to paste increase the size a little Okay, so then go to your resource file and I'm going to import this one, then reduce the size, something like this. Okay, then we are going to our background over here. Then select your rent angle. And draw a rent angle like this. Then change the color to black. Then apply your layer mask and blend over here
okay then we are going to duplicate this one you can drag it down then hold your shift key while you move it then position it here now i'm going to change the color there So you can use this color or you get a color from the image background so from here you can be trying to move your mouse to create a color from this golden bead here so now i'm going to drag it to adjust All right, so this is okay. Then I'm going to bring this one down. Then you will have something like this. Then over this one, I'm going to select it. Hold your shift key while you drag it down. Then I want you to reach this position. Now, then go back to your resource file and import this one and I'll position this one over here then duplicate it control plus J to duplicate and this one will be around here something like this then go back to your test and i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test to using t on the keyboard then ctrl plus v to paste and change the font color to black then on this image i'm going to i'm going to scale it so now we are going to select this one then and increase the character spacing something like this and this is too big then i'm going to reduce it it's okay so if you wonder where i bring this one from then when you select your test tool just click on this then it will give you this tool over there now i'm going to rotate it something like this okay so over here then we are done with this one here so then what i'm going to do now then hold your shift key then while you select all this one then ctrl plus g to group it or you can group it using this logo here to group it okay now we are going to the second side that is the back cover then we are going to grade a rent angle then on this rent angle we are going to draw a line something like this then change the color to black and remove the stroke then copy this color code here 
Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to duplicate this one multiple times. So then All right, so having done this one like this, so the next thing, then I'm going to select it all. Hold your control key while you select it. I mean your shift key. Hold your shift key while you select it. Then we are going to um, convert it to smart object so that we can be able to move it once then I'm going to reduce the opacity to 51% like this and apply your layer mask then select your gradient tool then you blend the top here now we are going to rotate it this way all right then this one here i'm going to duplicate it then take this one over here then we are going to flip this one horizontal then and vertical then you place it this way then come back to this background here and we are going to select somewhere from here then adjust it something like this is okay for the background now so the next we are going to do now then we are going to create a shape so now you have to watch carefully so first of all now we are going to create a clipping mask to on this one so let them go let them go back to the background now select this new layer we created and select your pen tool over here change it to shape so don't forget that remove the stroke column now we are going to draw now so select somewhere here Then you can grace something like this. Something like this. Then hold your Alt key while you select it to remove the node. Then come over here to grade something like this. You can hold your Control key then to adjust it now then i'm going to create something like this ctrl z then hold your alt key then to apply or to remove that not there now something like this so we are trying to create heart shape now we are going to click on this one now so create something like this so hold your control key to do any adjustments so when you hold your control key and you select it 
Then you can now remove your hand from the control key and apply any adjustment you want to apply. So something like this. So you can see why I remove my hand from the control key before I select. So it creates another shape. Okay, so then I'm going to leave this one. It's okay like this. So having created it, so the next thing we are going to do now, then we are going to duplicate this one then turn this one off so this one we are going to create a gradient color on this one so let's apply a color that look like a gold something like this then over here then let this one come up like this let to okay something like this then click ok now you can rotate the angle you want you can rotate the angle like this something like this then we are going to click ok to apply it now I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to delete this one. Then so that I can do the adjustment I notice here. Then here I need to adjust it. Okay. So having done the adjustment, then I'm going to duplicate this one now then drag it up like this and drag it this way then drag this one up a little it's okay maybe this way then we are going to duplicate this one then change the color to white so the other way to change the color is by clearing the design all right then go back to your resource file and bring this one so like i said earlier then this is a private picture so i'm not going to include this in your in the resource file to download so you can look for any other picture to use then create a clipping mask and I'm going to increase it So something like this now we are going to select from this image then down to the hearts that we created then we are going to group it so that it will be easy for us to navigate then i'm going to reduce it something like this is okay now then i'm going to import this background and uh, i'll place it at the top here reduce it then over here i'm going to duplicate this test here and drag it to the top 
now I'm going to move this one and I'm going to rotate it vertical I mean horizontal and place it over here then I'm going to increase the size something like this then I'm going to duplicate it control plus J to duplicate bring it down then I'm going to remove the character spacing by 0% and I'm going to copy my test from here control plus C to copy then highlight it go to select and select all to highlight the control plus V to paste now then in order for us to align this test with this back cover then we have to locate the rent angle we use at the back cover then hold your control key you select it and apply vertical alignment so to centralize it then we are going to duplicate this one then bring it down and control plus a to alight so or you go to select you will see it here control plus a to alight now then we are going to copy this one control plus c to copy and control plus v to paste and this font here we are going to change the font to astro astronaut So this is the font astronaut regular and increase the font size so then you will position it this way so something like this so having greater this like this so the next thing then you create a rent angle like this so this rent angle i'm doing now then is for you to put your label here or your company logo or any label to identify you so then something like that so now i will create a rent angle here then i will go back to resource file why i'm going to track this one then reduce the size and now we position it over here so i'm going to make it small like this is okay then i will reduce the rent angle like this now then i'm going to zoom to adjust it something like this so by so doing like this then then you have placed your label or your logo your company name under the back cover for your identifications okay so that is the end of this tutorial then all i can do here now then is to apply adjustments over the rent angle we created here then i'm going to increase this image i'm going to increase the size So with this the image is more bolder now so then you can go to your image um, I mean filter 
then apply portrait shot tray in order to smooth the image to something much more smoother so it is more better now so like this then we have come to the end of this tutorial guys thank you so much for following if you like this video please then don't forget to share it then and subscribe thank you so much then i really appreciate and i'm grateful to all you guys for following so all right that is all